guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Caramia. I'm back for a quick update for an open collaboration that BB's Closet Creations and myself are hosting. It's called 24 New Things to Try in 2024. So last time it had to be sometime end of January and February, we had started it and basically all you have to do is create a master board or vision board showing the 24 new things you would like to try. They're not New Year's resolutions. They're more uh, along the lines of doing different or trying new things, whether it's crafting, traveling at home, um, and any other interests that you might have that you've never tried before or have tried and want to kind of continue doing. So last time I did a folio and I'll insert some photos of what that folio looked like. So you can do the master board however you want. You can create a layout in your journal. You can do listing style if you would like. So you'll see here I've done collaging where I've cut out some of the 24 things that I would like to try. And so far I will say I've been having fun because it's a no pressure type deal and every four months we're going to do these updates to also guy i let you guys know what we've done so far and um i'd love to know if you decide to join make sure to tag me and bb we would love to see what you've been up to and maybe we'll get some fun ideas of what to try to this 2024 so for my update, um, one of the 24 things I wanted to try was to be able to make more time to see my younger sister who lives in San Francisco. We usually see each other every two to three months. And my goal was to be able to see her at least twice a month. And guess what, guys? We've been able to do that since February and March. Yesterday, she was just here with her family at my house. We're looking forward to May where we'll be celebrating Mother's Day together. And so I'm super, super happy about that. So everything that we've put on the list, uh, as BB had said, is something that we hope will bring joy to you and inspire you. So it's not like a, a New Year's resolution where you have to get it done. It's something, you know, you go with the flow and do it whenever you can. So we have a full year and I, I'm pretty sure those 24 things uh, we'll be able to achieve or at least try some of them. Um, it's just very motivating. So one of the other things I wanted to do, I love tea time and I wanted to try at least 10 or more different teas. So I did. So I have this journal that I won from Angela, the traveling crafter. And what I've done is I've created a page layout where I've saved all the covers of the teas. So you'll see it here all these different teas. I think four of them were gifted to me by some wonderful crafty friends and the rest um, I bought from the store to try. So the first one is caramel vanilla. And what I've done is I've done a rating. So it's either five stars for a really good tea. And then I just rate the sweetness and the flavor so I can remember if I did like it or not. But this one, I tend to like more um, flowery, uh, lemony flavors so caramel vanilla was okay a little too sweet for me i would say uh, the sweetness was okay and so i rated it that way so it if you flip it up you have another one here this time we have a raspberry royale the tartness was right and i gave this a four star for flavor i tend to like uh, the fruity type flavors and then it goes on we have this cute one. This was from Korea. A friend of mine had visited Korea. And this chamomile ice brew tea was really, really refreshing. I was off camera. But this was really good. So I've saved the tabs. And so when you insert it in the little pocket, it kind of sticks out like that, like a little tab. Now this one we got from a Christmas craft fair. And... Uh, it was a hibiscus, was it hibiscus bliss? And it's another kind of cold brew, sweet, floral, really yummy. I love it, really refreshing. So that one I really recommend. And it is from a brand called Epicure. So I thought that was pretty impressive. We have other ones here, gingery and more tangery ones. I'm trying to see if I have another, here's another chamomile one. Let's see, Tasso's a pretty, I didn't rate this one, but anyway, I did have, that's probably the recent one. 
So here's one little fabric pull. And then this is a black tea. So it was perfect. Wild strawberry, little tart, sweet, and perfect for the morning. So if you want a little bit on the fruity side, then I would do that. But that's it, guys. That's my really quick update. I hope you guys can share in the fun. I'm also adding to the list, um, and a lot of people do this, I'm looking back at some of the old pieces that I've worked with, trying to take them. So here's like some packaging that I had made into a cover, um, and I'm thinking of creating a signature. This, these were some projects that I'd put off. I finished it one, one piece and never really got to work on it. Here's one that BB and I had previously worked on and it was a vintage sewing pattern collaboration or challenge. So you use it and there's different prompts. So here's one way you can use it. So I created a belly band with our pattern paper and then we have a journaling card. Inside we have our pocket and then a little backdrop we have our window and then a beautiful journal card. So this was super fun to work with. If you guys want to check that out, I think it's in our collaboration playlist, but I had so much fun working on that. And so this is something I want to revisit and try um, for a change, <laughs> something new, finish some of these projects that I kind of started and didn't quite uh, finish in the past year. So something to add to a new thing to try in 2024. But I hope you guys can join us again. I'll have all the details in the description box below. Um, very simple, create a vision board or master board, collage style. All of the items that you include there will represent the 24 things that you might want to try for this year. and. You can also do a listing style, you know, that's fun. Or you can also do a journal layout in your journal page, kind of enumerating also the 24 things that you might want to try. So I hope you guys can join in the fun. Tag me and BB. Again, the hashtag is 24 new things to try in 2024. We hope you can join us. And the next time we will be checking in is four months from now. So what is it? It is end of April, I think it'll be closer to May, July, uh, June, July, so August, end of August. It's every fourth Friday of the month, we will be um, just doing an update like this. But if you'd like to share what you've made for your vision board, just put that tag and um, hashtag and tag both of us so we can see it. We would love to see what your 24 new things are. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.